Hi everybody, we are at Scratch. You can see the URL of scratch.mit.edu or you can just go to Google and you can click Scratch um, and type Scratch and you get there that way. Notice that I am right here in my account. If you haven't created an account, create one and then you can store your projects in a little library the way I'm doing right here where it clicks on my stuff and it shows various projects that I've been working on. We're going to choose create and we're going to create a brand new scratch project that's simply going to draw a square. This is lesson one and we're starting from scratch and we need you to get comfortable with the interface. So notice that this is where the program is going to execute, where the cat is. This is where I'm going to write my program and this is where I'm going to choose my commands and there's lots of different categories of commands to choose. So to do a square, I'm going to move a certain number of steps and then turn a certain number of degrees. There are 72 pixels in an inch, so I'm going to move, I'm going to say 120, which is almost 2 inches. Then I'm going to turn 90 degrees, and if I do these two steps, I'll have the beginning of my square. Unfortunately, if I were to click move right now, the cat would move and no ink would come out. So I have to remember to go to pen and put the pen down. I promise this is going to happen to you many, many times. You might want to choose a pen color, right? And so I'm going to choose a color there and then I'm going to draw the square. Now so far the pen goes down, the pen changes to that color, and then it's going to go forward and turn. But that's not enough for a square. So we need a control feature. And the control feature we want is the word repeat. Notice when I bring out repeat, it decides what it wants to gather around. And then I might have to put the things inside. Because this is what I really want. I want four times, not ten times. I want to go forward and turn. Forward and turn makes a square. This is now a stack of six blocks, or you might say five blocks, that have been brought out from the block area. If I click on any one of them, it executes my program. Now, if you don't like the fact that it's going that fast, I could take a wait one second and put it in here, and I'll change the color so we can see it. And you see how it's taking a little time while it's doing that block. It's walking, pausing, and it's doing it in that color of blue. But I'll change that in a second. And we'll change the color to a different color. So now when I draw it, it's going to walk the pathway making it darker blue. Don't forget to put the pen down. Don't forget to put the items in the loop. Now what you might want to do is add the clear command because the clear, clear command right, um, would start it from, from a blank screen each time. So now if I add the clear command, right, it clears it and the cat goes around You'll learn later in a different lesson how to change the cat. The only two things I want to add to this right, are the commands for making the cat talk, not real sound, making it putting some text on there. Right? So that what I'm going to do right, is add um, using looks, I'm going to add the command say and think. So before it starts, I'm going to have it say, using text, something like, now I will make a square. And try to get yourself and your students to use proper English. And then when it's all over, I'll use the think command, which is slightly different. And it re reveals a bubble. And this will say, um, did you catch the four angles of 
90 degrees each. Okay, I'll run the program now by clicking anywhere on the block. Notice how it pauses for two seconds and the count announces. And then at the end, even though I have a typo, sorry about that, right? Um, it does the think command. This can be named as lesson one square. And then this can be saved in your library by choosing save now right up here. It's really cool, lots of fun, lots of variations, and I challenge you to do this once, twice, three times. Teach someone in your family how to do it, because that's a great way to reinforce skills for yourself, and then try to do some variations. Instead of a square, make a triangle. So instead of that four, change it to three. Then you have to figure out Right, how much it's going to turn if it's going to be um, a triangle, and I think the answer might be, I think the answer might be 120 degrees. And of course, we're going to change that to be a triangle. And down here, um, I will change that um, a little bit hard because of the editor here. Right, I'm going to change that to say, got my triangle, got my triangle. Okay, before we say goodbye, let's see it. Now I will make a triangle, and here comes the three sides. Got my triangle. You can see the thinking thing. It's a whole lot of fun. All right, signing off for this lesson. Catch you on the next one.